my fellow Americans, a historic and unprecedented event has occurred. It's unprecedented. Guys, we are looking at an unprecedented meltdown. Unprecedented. 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 <laughs> Scientists will tell you it was unprecedented. It happened in flash. In a way that is frankly unprecedented. In unprecedented numbers. Well, everything is unprecedented until it happens for the first time. Are in unprecedented times. Volatility, uncertainty, the new normal. Do you have what it takes to know what is going to happen next? If so, then welcome to the ultimate prediction challenge where you have the chance to put your predictions on the record and compete in the ultimate battle to be recognized as the leader, determining prophecies, hypotheses, forecasts, and educated guesses that come true. We're gonna cover five things in this video. First, what is the ultimate prediction challenge? Second, how does the scoring work? Third, review predictions from two months ago. Fourth, we're gonna have a couple of video predictions for July from a couple of our members. And finally, we're gonna give you some instructions at the end on how to leave your own prediction in the comments below and participate in the challenge. Let's get started. So what is the ultimate prediction challenge? Well, there's this secret group. It's a little bit like the Medici or the Masons or the Illuminati hanging out at Davos. They share ideas, they conspire, they bring clarity in ambiguous times. They don't always agree. In fact, they usually don't agree. But what's consistent is everybody brings a diverse perspective to the conversation. They might be your doctor, your lawyer, your Uber driver, they might be a business owner, a venture capitalist. Just about every perspective is represented in this group. And for the first time ever, this group is gonna reveal itself on YouTube and invite you to join in. Today, we're gonna to review predictions. These are predictions that were made two months ago, back in the middle of March. Each person that made a prediction is gonna get a grade. Predictions that came true get a positive score. Predictions that did not, negative. The more unique and not mainstream thinking uh, that the prediction is, the higher the score it's going to get. The maximum score a prediction can get is five points. Minimum, minus five. You get one point for making a prediction. You get another point if you make a video prediction. We're going to keep a leaderboard and see who consistently makes the best predictions over time. But wait, who comes up with the score? Is it just me making things up as I go? Well. Not exactly. I'm going to have a little bit of help out on the grading. I had a chance to interview the founder of this channel earlier today, and we talked a little bit about grading. So let's go ahead and roll the tape. Roll it! Today we have a special guest, a guest that really needs no introduction. Not only did he start this channel, he's also letting me hijack it to talk about predictions. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Restorative Capitalism to the set. Come on in. Take a seat. Welcome and thanks for coming to the studio. Yeah, man, no worries. So what did you, what do you want to talk about? Well, you may have heard by now, but some people are wondering what this channel is all about. Can you summarize? Yeah, I've heard questions like that from friends too. Is this about money, politics, teaching kids about independence? Have you lost your mind? The answer to all those questions is yes, absolutely. The most important thing to note though is we have some great content coming down the pipeline to teach kids about money. What does restorative capitalism mean? So I definitely encourage your viewers to subscribe. Cool. So on the prediction challenge, do you mind helping me out in grading some of these predictions? Sure. I'll take a look through them, give them each a score. But what are you going to do if we disagree? How are we going to handle tiebreakers? That's a good point. Maybe we should loop in that other guy, the weird one. You know, the guy that's taking videos of kids cutting his hair. Good idea. Let's him inv invite him to join us. Come on in, dude. Hey, what's up, guys? More like, what's up with your hair, dude? Ah, uh, yeah, last weekend my four-year-old gave me this sweet haircut and we took it all on video. So if your viewers want to check it out, go find that video on the channel. Great, so you mind being the tiebreaker if Mr. Restorative Capitalism and I don't agree with some grades on these predictions from March? Yeah, man, sure thing. Just let me know what you need. I'm here to help. Excellent. Well, let's get started then. 
First prediction we're going to look at is from Mr. Restorative Capitalism. Uh, Mr. Restorative Capitalism had three predictions. And the first one here is indicating we will have unprecedented sewage processing problems, TP substitutes, baby rice, blah, 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 um, will create sewage processing. Okay, right. It, uh, this is sort of a Captain Obvious one. So kind of like, okay, I said that, but I, I think every, that's just obvious that that's going to happen. So, and it did. Uh, there's definitely articles out there about that happening. So I think for that one, we're going to say it's a plus one. Let's take a look at the next one where we've got political bickering will become a lot less relevant or tolerated and will begin to find more common ground as humans. Uh, at the time, two months ago, 25% of the posts I was observing on Facebook were anti-Trump on, on the book face. Um, and, you know, that hasn't changed. So so that was wishful thinking. And so that one's going to be that one's going to be a, a, a minus one. So we're, we're averaging zero here. Um, and okay, here's another one. Uh, we're going to feel more optimistic two months from now than we do right now. And that's today. And you know what? I feel more optimistic, don't you? I, it might be that we're a little bit in the eye of the storm here. But honestly, uh, like life's pretty good. And we've got, got, a, got a YouTube channel now. Um, so anyway, springs in the full, full glory. Yeah, the, the weather's good. All is good. So so that one's a good one. I, and I think that that one I'm going to do. Um, let's do a. Oh, shoot. I'm going to I'm going to do a plus two on that one. So overall score for uh, for Mr. Restorative Capitalism is a, is a two. All right, let's move on. OK, we got a whole bunch of predictions here from Mr. Conan Motes. Conan has a YouTube channel. He's going to have a video prediction later in the segment here today. But let's look at what he had first from a couple months ago. Uh, this first one is and stop expecting the federal government to do its job. I don't know what he means there, uh, honestly. I, and I never asked him. So we're going to throw that one out. So that's just going to ignore that one. Zero. Uh, National Guard will ration food. And I think you know the spirit of that was like, you know, Armageddon, like nobody has any food, like distribute food kind of thing. But here in Washington state, the National Guard definitely got involved in distributing food, not necessarily rationing, but I think distributing. And that definitely, definitely happened here. So we're going to give that one a, that one's a plus one. Okay, plus one. Plus one for that one, Conan. Conan also said Totino's pizza rolls will come out with a newer, cheesier version. Okay, well, Totino's Pizza Rolls, it turns out, has a YouTube channel. And if you go to that channel, you will find no new content over the last couple of months. So I don't think that they did publish a new version. So sorry about that one, Conan. You get, uh, you get a minus one on that. So you are averaging zero points right now. Let's see how we're doing here. JSTOR will bill you later. I never knew what JSTOR was until I looked at this. It's a way to get publications online. Teachers use it. It's a pretty cool site. JSTOR.com. I looked at the... The, how the billing works at JSTOR, and I did not note any recent changes. So uh, based on my observations, that's, that's also a minus one. Um, okay, so we're looking at a negative one score overall. Kona, what do we got next? Lockheed Martin will get a new CEO. And, you know, right after he posts this, like an hour later, he posted an article about Lockheed Martin's CEO. So I, not really a prediction, that one. Um, not that, so I'm going to, I'm going to give that, that one's going to get zero. It's true, but it's, it's kind of, you can't just quote an article about something that's going to like literally happening right in front of you and call it a prediction. Now let's look at this last one. 25% contraction in GDP for the second quarter. Uh, it turns out that we're a few days away from getting that number. Next release is going to be on May 28th. First quarter, we were we were already looking minus 4.8%, so we we're just heading down already. But if you look at the articles that are out there, you will find a range of predictions where 25 is kind of like the, the high end of things. Some people are expecting minus 40 GDP. So I think that Conan for this one, this one for, for this one, Conan gets gets two points. That's that's a plus two. All right, so. How do we do overall here, Conan? You, you're, you're plus, plus one there, plus you get a point for participating. 
So overall, you get two points. Awesome. Moving on then. Mr. Matt Bentley, the virus will be 90% over in a month? Uh, don't think so, buddy. Um, negative, but, so that's a minus on that one. But the negative bailouts, negative effects of the bailout will be with us for years, if not indefinitely. You know, that's, that's definitely true. Uh, but that's not like a two-month thing. Uh, people will barely remember the virus in five years. That's five years. That's not two months. And uh, so anyway, this one, this one's got, you know, overall, it's about a month. We got to do integers here. So I'd give him a minus 0.5 if I could, but he's going to get it. This prediction gets a minus one. Um, but participating, you get a point. So you're averaging out at zero, Matt. You are a zero. Uh, so make another prediction. Uh, but focus it on two months. All right, moving on. Let's take a look at Ed. Ed had an awesome prediction. And I got to say something about it. A new golden age of art and entertainment. Thousands of new stories and movies and, uh, and things created for us. And you know what? I have seen creativity explode over the last couple of months. And I, I actually credit Ed to partially to this channel starting. Reading that got me thinking like, you know what, I can get on YouTube and flap my jaws in front of everybody and maybe like five people will watch it. But, uh, uh, but anyway, so this is a just, this one's a really awesome prediction and I'm going to, I'm going to actually give that one a, uh, we weren't really thinking about that back, uh, much back then. So that's a plus four. That's novel. That's like a you know, there's definitely evidence of that happening. You're watching this today is proof that Ed was right. Uh, okay, but it, it is a two month prediction and, and like realistically he was thinking a little bit longer than that for his comment. But, uh, but I think just for the impact of that prediction in and of itself, Ed's getting a plus four, plus one for uh, participating. All right, very good. Oh my goodness. Moving on to Jeremy. Jeremy's got, look at this thing. My God, this is a, this is a giant set of predictions here. Uh, uh, let me attempt to summarize this. Um, okay, what do we got here? 18 to 24 months, that's not two months. Two to three global infection waves. Okay, that's too far out, doesn't count. Because of that, social shifts, yes, yes, all good stuff. Uh, a little bit further thinking out than we were looking. Government-based healthcare will become the new normal. Nah, it's not, I'm not seeing it. Not today, at least. I mean, maybe some maybe some things are happening um, that go in that direction, but it's not super specific or measurable in two months. So, yeah, it's, yeah I'm going to give that one a minus one. All right, internet connectivity will become public utility with more government-controlled regulated infrastructure. Da, 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 possibly some new innovations coming out with atmospheric delivery of connectivity. That sounds cool, but it didn't happen. Didn't happen in two months. So that's a, that's a minus one. Uh-oh. Um, our air and nature gets a break from human activity and rejuvenates, et cetera, et cetera, non-human world, clean, clean energy embrace. Okay, I've, I've seen some articles about this. There's definitely some, uh, you know, people that are out there measuring the atmosphere have, have some positive things to say about, about what's happened the last few months. So that one's, I think that, I think we have, there's evidence there. So that one's going to be a plus one. All right. All right. Live streamed entertainment will experience massive growth and revive the arts while crippling sports industry. Yes, yes, yes. All true. Plus two, plus two. One of these days, maybe this will be streamed live when I figure out how to do that. <laughs> uh, remote work will become a standard operating procedures for most companies Reducing overhead costs associated with offices and large campuses, which will, oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Um, that's definitely happening. And that one, that one, that one, I'm going to, a couple people made this prediction. Somebody else made it before Jeremy did in the thread. So I'm going to give him partial credit for that one. A really, really good prediction. Giving him a plus two for it, though. Um, all right. Post-depression era culture returns as economy staggers frugality. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. 
fewer people causing it. Yeah, there's all this is all true stuff too. Uh, but I think I think we kind of all saw that coming. So that's that's also kind of like Captain Obvious type stuff. Um, so plus one. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of how does the Sol average out? They, okay, two, four, five, six, one. I don't know. I mean, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm, I think overall, overall here, we're gonna we're gonna like average these together, weight them a little bit, and I think I think we're gonna get we're gonna be a we're gonna give you a give you a four points total there, Mr. Dahlman. All right, very good then. Moving on, Vikas, Mr. Kapoor. All right, so Vikas is talking about voting, and voting is something that's gonna be impacted if you can't. Stand around each other. You got to socially distance. And Vikas is like, you know what? There's solutions for this. There's this thing called votes. There's this company. It's doing stuff, solving problems. And Vikas says, you know what? I think we're going to be seeing some progress on that in the next couple of months. And uh, I just took a look, and you know, looking at an article from a week ago, uh, this this votes technology was used in Arizona by Arizona Republicans. And um, you know what? That's pretty cool. That's really super cool. And you know what? So I think Vikas is, uh, you know what? We're going to give Vikas a, a three-pointer for that because not most people weren't even, weren't even thinking about the election a couple months ago. Um, so that's, that's pretty novel stuff. All right. Three points total. Um, moving on. Mr. Lewis, Stephen Lewis. What do we got here? All right. Economic bailouts, aid packages, QE meant to help the economy will be funneled to extreme, the extremely wealthy and powerful people. Yes, yes, of course. That's what I, that's what bailouts are. Bailouts bail out the large players. So that's definitely true, um, and we're definitely seeing evidence of that. So, um, but I think everybody knows that that's what bailouts are for. I mean, well, do they really? I mean, some people really think bailouts actually help people that need it. Um, hmm. So maybe that's a two. All right. That one's, I, that, that's a good one. All right. Because nobody's paying attention, there will be legislation to increase the authoritarian government in this country. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we see this all around, spread local governments, especially. Uh, and uh, there's people resisting that now. All right. So that's another, that, that's another plus two. So we're looking at an average of twos here. Um, and then we got some longer term ones here. Uh, economic fallout. Social, okay, so these are way longer out, like social security getting dismantled, incarceration increasing. What else we got? Banks closing, et cetera. Those are farther out though, so we're gonna ignore those. Those are zeros. And I'm gonna, we're gonna give Steve's, he's averaging out, you know, two, plus he gets a point for participating. So. Let's get let's make that a total of three points. See this 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 completely subjective grading system. Like what what is going on here? Um, work with me. Work with me. All right. Um, I'm doing my best, but you can leave comments below if you disagree. All right, Claire. Claire. Claire is talking about local restaurants and breweries. Yeah, there was a huge push a couple of months ago that says, you know what, I support my local restaurant, I support my local brewery, I'm gonna, you know, do my part, I'm gonna spend money on them, and uh, and yeah, you know what, I've had a couple of local restaurants, restaurants I can walk to that closed down because people stopped doing this. So Claire is correct. This is astute observation, Claire, and she also said uh, we're gonna see people broadening their culinary skills. Which, yeah, I mean, how many how many pictures of a loaf of bread have you seen on Facebook? I've, every day, I see these amazing loaves of bread people put on Facebook. So that's that's evidence of that too. And yeah, I'm, maybe it was a little bit obvious, but but I don't know. I don't know. I think this is some this is some good stuff, Claire. So I'm gonna give you a three pointer for the prediction plus one for participating, which puts you at puts you at four points plus four. That is a fantastic score, Claire. All right, Rocky, what you got, man? Rocky, Rocky, liking the positivity. All right, let's see. Favorable results from vaccine, more trials. And there was no vaccine a couple months ago. And you know what, there's trials of vaccines now. There's multiple of them. And some of them are starting to look potential. Uh, so yeah, that's a good one. Uh, that's optimism. So we're gonna give, that one's, that one's, you know, I mean, obviously people are going to be working on, 
working on these though, so it's like, all right, two points. Two points for you on that one, Rocky. I predict an expansion in app-based services and delivery by major retailers. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, that's happening too. Um, but that's not, you're not Nostradamus for that. Uh, one point, one point for that one. I predict an increase in side of road sidewalk kiosks for efficient ordering and transferring of takeout food. That's probably happening somewhere. I'm not seeing it in my no lo local neighborhood, but somewhere in the world, that's probably happening. Um, but yeah, I'm just not seeing it though. So um, I'm gonna, we're gonna average out here and we're gonna go, you know, it'd be about, it'd be about 1.5 total. But like, okay, total score for you, Rocky, you're gonna get, you're gonna be at two points. <laughs> there you go, buddy, two points. All right, now I asked for permission to share predictions from people and include their names in this video, but there was there was one individual that made some really good ones that uh, I didn't hear back from. So I'm gonna include his content here without his name. He might sue me, but we'll see. So anonymous one, uh, we're gonna keep track of you. And if you wanna do this not anonymously next month, you are welcome to. The virus will be a 24 month event. Yes, we don't know that in two months, but looking that way, okay. Take a look at this, blah, blah, blah. The vaccine will be available in Q2 2021. Okay, that's very specific and very measurable. That's uh, farther out from where we are today. So I don't know, that's not really a two month prediction. It's good though, but I think we're gonna, we're gonna kind of give it a, it's gonna give it a one just because it's uh, looking a little further out. Uh, okay, contested federal elections this fall in January, delayed primaries, Armageddon, oh my God, uh, rushed November process, loser goes to the Supreme Court, lots of potential political badness. Yeah, it's, that's, uh, that's definitely potential, but I, it's kind of too far out. So we're not, gonna, we're not gonna really grade that one. That's just a zero for not a plus or not a minus. Uh, and then this is, this is really interesting too. It's, we weren't thinking about the higher ed supply chain two months ago, but there's definitely been a lot of articles and talk about that since then. And what's the impact on uh, distance learning and higher ed and how does it work with students getting out of high school, going into college and, you know, my daughter that's going to go into kindergarten. I'm like, wow, how does all this work? And, you know, this is pretty, pretty uh, not mainstream thinking a couple months ago. So, uh, so that one's going to get a better score. That's a score of two. So if we average all that out, yeah, you know, then we're gonna, we're gonna, plus get your extra point here. We're gonna take all those and put them at a, your overall score, Mr. Anonymous is going to be a plus two. All right, all right. Got one more to go here. Dia, Dia, why did I save you for last? Why did I save you for last? Because you have the winning prediction this time. Remote work will be a permanent thing for a large number of American workers. Uh, more than we expected. And you know what? I'm looking at tweets this week from the CEO of Salesforce that says, you know what? Remote work is going to be the default for us. I'm seeing friends of mine that run companies, venture capital firms that are going like, you know what? We're going to send people home. We're not going to bring them back. And so, Dia, you're going to get the five-pointer. I'm going to give away one five-pointer every time we do this. And you're getting a Dia for that one. That's a five pointer. Um, and then she was joking. We're going to merge with robots at the end of this and live happily ever after. And, it, and definitely the singularity is starting. Um, all of this working from home is definitely a part of that. Um, so Dia, you get a five pointer. And that is reviewing all of the predictions. In summary, let's take a look at the leaderboard on the first set of graded predictions. Dia is coming in in the lead with five points. Good job, Dia. And then right behind her, we got a bunch of people at four. We got Claire, Jeremy, and Ed right there. And then we got a, got a bunch in the middle and down all the way down at the bottom. Is, I'm at the bottom and right there, right there with Mr. Matt Bentley. So uh, sounds like we have some work to do on coming up with predictions for next grading which will happen at the end of july so you need to have your predictions in by the 31st of may and so to get predictions in 
All you need to do is leave them in the comments below. The guidance here is much like the guidance last time. If you're going to leave a dark and scary prediction, then also try to leave a positive, unexpected outcome prediction. And it's really simple. Just leave it in the comments below. And if you do it before the 31st, you will be included in the next grading. I'm only going to include the top 10. So the, the, the predictions that stand out the most, those are the ones that we're going to review. Uh, we'll score the others, but, uh, but only the ones with the highest scores or the lowest scores are going to be called out um, in the video a couple months from now. Prediction time. What are my predictions by the end of July 2020? I have two. Both of them are financial. Both of them are not financial advice. If you follow my predictions, you are guaranteed to lose money. Anyway, first one is S&P 500. My prediction is that the S&P 500 will be shaped more like a lowercase h by the end of July than a uppercase v. So that means on this picture, more like this blue line here. That one's pretty, spe pretty specific, pretty measurable. So we're looking about right here, that H coming out right there. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Second, I believe that Nerd Bunny, AKA Bitcoin, will reach $12,000 sometime before the end of July, 2020. Not necessarily going to stay there. This prediction is that it touches 12K sometime between now and the end of July. So those are my two. Let's see what Jim Bentley has next. Roll it. So I've got two predictions with a caveat on one of the predictions. The first prediction is that one of the four major U.S. airlines will go bankrupt. The caveat on that one is that the government will bail them out. So they won't go bankrupt, but okay. The other prediction is on the quarantine and the swap that will occur. Currently, 68% of the U.S. population is in favor of quarantine. And I think that within two months that will swap and 68% of the population will not be in favor of quarantine. Those are my two grandiose predictions. We will see how I do. All right, thanks for that one, Jim. Now, Mr. Conan Motes, who has a YouTube channel, I will point to it in the video. Roll it, Conan. Hey, what's up? I've been uh, tasked with giving a prediction about the summer in terms of the uh, COVID-19 virus. Numbers will start to decrease over the next month. And by July, mid-July, we should be hopefully out of phase two into phase three and starting back up the economy and trying to adjust to what it will be a new normal, perhaps. Um, hopefully the second wave will not hit until the fall and closer to a vaccine. And um, I don't want to be a prophet of doom, but I think we have rocky times economically, socially, and politically over the next year or two. But we'll get through it. Thank you, gentlemen, for your video predictions. And you, too, can have a video prediction next time around. I encourage all of you that are watching this channel to start your own YouTube channel. I will point to it. We will include your predictions. It will be fun. We will learn together how to do this social media thing. Anyway, what you can do if you don't want to be on video is just leave a comment below. You need to leave the comment before the end of the month. So I need it. Bye. Close of business on the 31st, Sunday the 31st. So I will take any prediction between now and then, and we will grade that in the next ultimate prediction challenge video that will happen a couple months from now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you want to see some of the other content coming out on this channel. And have a great day. Thank you very much.